hello welcome to my channel my name is sylvia Ide. thank you so much for coming if you're a returning subscriber you are the g thank you for always coming back okay and if you're new to this channel thank you so much for coming please make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment and please share to your friends so that they get connected to this channel thank you so much so in this episode i'm going to show you how to make very very quick okra soup so let's go First thing we're going to do is offload everything that we got from the market the Cameroon pepper, the fish, the crayfish, the okra, the ubu, and the scotch bonnet. So, everything on this place I got for 1350 naira. This stockfish I got for 200 naira, and this crayfish I got for 100 naira. Let me show you. Look at it. I got for 100 naira. Not bad. And I got the scotch bonnet here for 50 naira. I had four pieces at home, so I just added it. And there yeah, we have this. And this fish, guys, I got for 650 naira. Like, how? Compared to the normal price, this fish is too small for 650. Like, I was surprised. And I got this ugu for 50 naira. Not bad. It's still a fair price, so that's fine. I got this okra for 250 naira. Not a fair price. Too expensive. Where are we going? And like, how is this 250? And yeah, I cut it like this because I want to show you a hack. So you have to keep watching to know what hack that is. So first thing now we're going to do is put our pepper and crayfish in a blender, add water and blend away. Blend till your desired result. If you want it to be smooth, blend till it's smooth. If you do not want it to be smooth, blend it how you like, okay? So, this is what I want. We're done. And I'm just going to transfer into a bowl and show you the hack that I said that I would. So, you have a blender. Just put your okra inside it. Add water and blend. I mean, it's easier. On this day, I was so, so tired. Like, I couldn't even cut the okra, and okra soup was what I was craving. So, when I got to the kitchen, I was just like, Can I not blend okra? So, I brought out the blender, and I was like, That's it. That is what I'm going to do because ah, I don't have strength. School is stressing me enough for me to stay home and start cutting okra before I can cook food and eat. And I was so tired. So, I just decided to blend it, and this is what I just did. So, if you have a blender at home and you're tired or not, just pick up your blender, put your okra in it, add water, and blend away. Like it's so easy. So while I was blending, some were refusing to blend because it was too much quantity inside the blender. So I had to scoop them out and keep them for blending later. So I'm going to show you what this okra, when it's blended, looks like. We're transferring into a bowl. This is what it looks like. And now we're going to add the other one that we set aside in a bowl inside the blender add a little water cover up and blend and we're going to add it to the bowl of okra this is a closer look not bad so we're going to set that aside and steam our fish so put your fish your chicken whatever it is that you want to use for this recipe put it inside a pot and yeah we're going to add the stock fish we're going to add the crayfish and pepper mix and we're going to add seasoning i use maggi so we're going to put two and then add salt now we're going to add water and for the finishing touch because <laughs> this girl likes to add it we're going to add cameroon pepper mix nicely cover up and put it on fire it's been on fire let's see how it looks so this is what it looks like and now we're going to cook the soup proper so when your meat your chicken your fish whatever it is that you're using is ready you're going to add water add your crayfish and pepper mix and you're going to add palm oil we're not frying so this is a no fry method we're not frying so we're going to add all of that cover up and allow to boil And this is what it looks like when it's boiled. Mm -hmm. It's ready for us to add our okra. So we're going to add our blended okra into this mix and just stir nicely. Mix it so that the okra 
and the oil and everything that you have inside the pot just come together as one <laughs> as husband and wife okay so make sure that it's mixed nicely i decided to see that the seasoning was not enough so i had to add one more maggi and i added salt now we're going to add our ugu when you get to this point your soup is ready once you add ugu all you have to do is just let it be for one minute or less and your soup is ready so thank you so much for watching if you've gotten to this stage i really hope that you try this recipe i really hope that you try to blend your okra and see what it looks like if it is for you or not so until next time peace out